Hello and welcome back to my little corner on the internet where I like to talk about some witchy shit and some health shit. Really appreciate you stopping by. It means a lot to me. Um, I hope you're still taking care of yourselves, wearing your mask, social distancing, all that good stuff because we still need to do it. I appreciate it. I have five appointments so far this month. Five medical appointments. And all it took was a deadly global pandemic to get the medical care that I need. Go figure. Um, but I just want to say hi and thank you so much for joining me. Um, let's get down to the brass tacks. Today is divination affirmation. <clears throat> I went in with what do I need to release during this upcoming full moon? that I believe is tonight, it hits its peak at like three o'clock in the afternoon. So it'll be uh, something I'll do tonight instead, instead of the afternoon. Um, and this one is very timely as with most of my affirmation divinations. Um, what do I need to release? I am allowed to make mistakes. Yeah, who among us have not made our fair share or then some? of some mistakes, you know, in our lives. Uh, as long as we use those as learning opportunities, I don't really see the bad part or the downside to making mistakes. Other than like, if they cost people their lives, looking at politicians. Don't think that was a mistake though, because I personally gained from it. I'm just saying, it sounds more like a ne'er-do-well than a mistake. But genuine, genuine mistakes are learning opportunities cloaked in a sense of being uncomfortable sometimes. Like, oh crap, either I found out that I made a mistake, somebody else found out and pointed it out or something. We can just want to just go into our little shell sometimes when we make a mistake. At least that's how I feel. Maybe it's my little perfectionist side. I learned how to temper that reaction, so that's good. Um, but yeah, if you're not learning from your mistakes too, then that could be another issue where you might want to focus on why you're not learning from them. Are you more comfortable in patterns and behaviors and you don't want to change anything because it's scary, it's uncomfortable, it's change. But without doing those things, how can we grow? You know, um, it's through mistakes and errors that we learn how to be better people. At least that's from my experience, because if we didn't make any mistakes from the time that we were children, how rich, excuse me. Yeah. That was a mistake in swallowing. How rich would our lives be if we did not make a single mistake since we were born? probably not that rich of a childhood or an adulthood. Oh, so can we bring forth our ability to recognize that mistakes are learning opportunities and take them as such? That's a good idea, right? I think so. Um, so thank you. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration. My neck is still killing me. So, I have a uh, already scheduled pain management appointment on Monday and it's weird with chronic illness because part of me really hopes that it still hurts along with right here. Um, I almost looked like I was trying to do a magic trick. I'm, I'm not that good at that kind of magic. Um, but yeah, part of me hopes that the pain is still there because then it might take me a little bit more seriously. Although he does have my MRIs that show how messed up it is how many discs are bulging and the fact that in some places my spinal cord is being squished and flattened in my neck due to the misalignment and what my pain management doctor says doesn't really exist so that's fun um so be good to yourselves be good to others uh wear your masks Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And thank you for listening to me ramble. I don't think I went off on too much of a tangent today. So have a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.